Today we want to show you the basic analyzer principle. Analyzers come in different sizes and are designed for different applications. Combustion, emission analyzers are available as handhelds, portables, and stationaries. All of them have the same purpose, giving us the gas composition inside a stack, exhaust, but the basic functionality for all these extractive analyzers is the same. Extractive means, a gas sample is extracted from a source, for example, stack, using the analyzer internal gas pump, the gas is filtered before being sent to the measuring modules, electrochemical sensors or infrared sensors, etc., to be analyzed. These are the components that all extractive analyzers have. First, we need an enclosure. Then a gas pump. The measuring modules, sensors. Portable analyzers typically also have a CO protection pump. Hoses and filters. Then we need electronics and firmware. A display and human interface. And power supply, a battery for portable analyzers and grid power for stationary analyzers. Portable analyzers also have a differential pressure sensor to measure stack draft. At the analyzer entrance we have the condensate separator, alternative a gas cooler. Now we need a sampling line and probe. Portable analyzers also have a stack and ambient air temperature port. These two parameters are being used for combustion calculations, such as efficiency and losses. Stationary analyzers can have optional stack temperature as well. Now we have our components to make a measurement. The gas pump is rotating, extracting gas from the stack. The gas is transported through the sampling line, then through the condensate separator, optional gas cooler, and finally reaches the gas sensors. When the CO protection is active, the gas pump is rotating. The CO protection pump is rotating. All sensors get gas, while the CO sensor gets fresh air. Here is one of many MRU solutions, the Ampro Plus, measuring, O2, CO, CO2, NO2, NO2, SO2, and CXHY, as well as draft and pressure, stack temperature and ambient air temperature, and calculating all combustion and emission parameters that you need. Thank you for watching our videos, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.